To start on Etsy, what do you need? Is there like a checklist of things that you need to make sure that your shop gets started on the right foot? Spoiler alert, there is, and keep watching this video to find out what they are. Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. So right before we dive in, please make sure to subscribe for more Etsy tips and tricks. And also do not forget to get the 76 page workbook, the 30 days to a kick butt Etsy shop. It's free and it will be invaluable to you. The link to that is in the description box. And also as well, there is some more free stuff in there as well. So definitely worth checking that out. But today we're going to be talking about new shops and a kind of checklist of things that you need to make sure your shop gets started on the right foot. Now, these are going to be mostly things that you don't have to buy, to be honest with you. In fact, I think that all of them are things you don't really have to buy. You may want to invest in someone to help you do some, some of these things, but they're not things you have to spend money on. So it just goes to show that you don't need to spend a lot of money to start a successful business. But however, there are some things that you need to make sure are in place first. Now, without further ado, let's dive into them. Now, the very first thing you need is a target market. Now I know that I've probably said this a fair few times but it is very very true. To start a successful Etsy shop you need to have a target market before you create the product ideally. Now I know a lot of you out there have probably done it the other way around where you have created a product first and then listed it on Etsy and then found the target market and that's fine. The only issue with that is that it is going to be a lot more work but what I would say is that if you haven't started yet or you're just thinking about starting it Think of who your target market is first, because that's just gonna make it a whole heck of a lot easier for you to get started. Now, target market is something that we do discuss in the Handmade Bosses Success Academy. I will put the link to that in the description box below. It is a take me by the hand strategy for success on Etsy, something that I have written myself through the experience that I have got selling for full full time as a top 1% Etsy seller for five years. It is definitely worth having a, a look at. Um, you can only get so far on free content is what I believe. So definitely worth checking that out. But you need to know who your target market is. And this is gonna help you with, you know, writing your marketing messaging, your descriptions, your photos, your branding, every single aspect of your business, you need to refer back to your target market. So really important that straight off the bat, you get that done. I'm interrupting my very own video to bring to you the news that there is a brand spanking new webinar. This webinar is called How to Increase Your Etsy Conversion Rate. It is literally the most helpful webinar training I have ever created. So it is completely free. If you go in the link in the description box below, you can secure your place in this live training webinar. I cannot wait to see you in there and let's get back to the video. The very next thing is a problem that that target market has. You need to know this because we need to make a product that actually solves that pain point, that problem. I like to describe it as more of a pain point than a problem. A pain point is a lot easier to get your head around. And I know that a lot of you out there are probably going to be sat there watching this saying, well, how do my t-shirt solve a you know problem for the customer? How does that have a pain point that they need t-shirts for? And I'm here to say that every single product on Etsy, regardless of what it is, all solves a pain point in some capacity. It could be that you sell planner stickers, okay? It could be that the pain point for your target market is that they never feel organized and they always look at their friends and people on, on YouTube that film planning videos and they think, why can't I be like that? I always feel like my to-do list is never ending. I don't know what to do. My life feels all jumbly and my mind doesn't feel relax, it doesn't feel like I've got this, it doesn't feel like I'm gonna get everything done. That's a big pain point. And your planner stickers or planner pages or whatever it is that you do, actually helps to solve that pain point. So it's really important to actually look at your product and identify what pain point that solves for your target market. But for now, we need to have a pain point that that target market has that you need to solve with your product. The very next thing you need is a tested product that solves that pain point. Now I do say a tested product because there might be a lot of things on Etsy that actually haven't been tested and that you know people are gonna receive them and be disappointed. Now it's really, really important that you do test the product first to make sure it does actually solve the pain point. But you need to make sure that your products are catered specifically to your target market, 
to solve their pain point. It's really important we do this, obviously, as we've just talked about, we need to make sure that our product solves a pain point for the customer so that the customer is attracted to that item as a means to solve you know, the pain point, which is a whole reason why they're searching on the platform in the first place. So it is really, really important to link those three things together before you even start your shop, or if, if you have started your shop, to do it ASAP. The next thing is a brand aimed at your target audience, at your ideal customer and your target market. Those three are all the same thing, basically, with your pain point in mind. So, for example, if you are doing planner stickers, let's say, your brand needs to be catered around planning and being organized and it really needs to shine a light on that pain point so it could be that you actually write some blog posts based around how to feel more organized it could also be that you do make some youtube videos as to how to be more organized in your life it needs to be a brand that is centered around being you know organized and planning and the pain point that your customer actually does have and what this will do is that this will position you as a as the shop that's domineering your category as a person that knows the most about that knows the most about planning in this example and you need to position yourself as an expert in your industry and you can't do that when you have loads of different jumbled up items in your shop which is why I have a video on my channel which is basically discussing whether you should open up another shop or add an, uh, you know new items items that don't really fit your target market in your existing Etsy shop. So it is really important that if you, you know, have multiple different ideas that you do go and watch that video, that is on my channel. The very next thing to do is to set up your Etsy shop. Now make sure that you set it up in the correct way. What I would tend to lean towards doing and what I teach my students to do is to essentially get everything ready beforehand. So we know who our target market is, we know what our product is, we know what, what the pain point is, and we now have a brand that attracts that. You want to make sure that you've done all of this work beforehand so that setting up your Etsy shop is super, super easy. Your about section, you know exactly what to write. Your graphics and your branding, you know exactly what to do. Your product photography, you know exactly what to do. It just helps with all aspects of your Etsy shops. So you need an Etsy shop set up in the right way, set up to convert your visitors into customers. The very next thing you need is to have experience with photographs. You need to get really, really good at taking product images or you need to invest in a product photographer for you. Now, full disclosure, I used to take all of my uh, Etsy listing images and I'm smiling because I used to take them on a, on a really old iPad. So honestly, you don't need the next, you know, DSLR camera, you can just use your phone. I do have a video on my channel showing you how to take product photography with your iPhone, but you can either uh, pay for someone else to do this and it's not as expensive as you think, or you can do it yourself. And it is something that I would recommend really making sure that you research and you train yourself how to take really good product photos. Don't forget that people cannot touchy-feely your products. You know, you go into a physical store and you don't really, really need to do this, to be honest, because the customer can pick up the item, touchy-feely, try it on, whatever. So it is something that, you have to make sure that your product photographs actually do this for the customer. So get really good at product photography. The next and last thing is to get to grips with taxes and accounting. And personally, I did this, I, well, I'm gonna just say I tried to do, to do this myself. I am not a tax expert, okay? I. I hate doing taxes, okay? I hate numbers when it comes to not calculating profits and profit margins. I don't like numbers, you know, that are, you know, calculating what tax I, I, I have to pay. Who likes that? But what I would say is if you don't know what to do and you're just like, oh, panicking, you're not quite sure, I would look at outsourcing it. Accountants are not as expensive as you think. They can be under the £400 mark. Um, certainly, they can definitely be under the, the £400 a year mark. Um, and I would say that it is really important to get this right because it is a big source of stress. You might be sat there saying, Steph, it's fine. I'm not worried about it. But believe me, when it comes to tax season, when you have to submit everything and pay it, it's really, really stressful. And I'm saying this because it is something that you have to get right straight off the bat. If you're wanting to run a business, guys, okay, if you're wanting to start a business, which I imagine you do if you're watching this, you have to get started off on the right foot. You can't go into it saying, I'll do that later. I'll do that later. You have to set it up right straight off the bat. 
Number one, because it, it just saves you work in the long run. And number two, because of your mindset. If you're going into it saying, it's just a little thing on the side, I'm not sure what you know what, what's going to become of it. It's not going to become anything, okay? You have to make sure that your mindset is sorted, that you know exactly what you want this Etsy business to become. Now, it, you know, I, I really would recommend at least doing some research on taxes, even if you have no intentions of even submitting anything for a year or two, um, which by the way, you should, you should always declare everything, obviously depending on your country's rules, I'm not a tax expert, full disclosure. Um, but I would say that to make things easier on yourself, start keeping receipts, start keeping tabs of, you know, what you're selling and, and how much it is and your fees and everything like that. Start keeping tabs of everything. Um, and if you're not really sure what to do, have a look at an accountant, have a look at a bookkeeper. They are cheaper than you think. So guys, I really hope that you enjoyed that video. If you haven't already, please do subscribe. Give this video a big, big thumbs up. Don't forget to check the links in the description box below as they are all helpful for you, believe me. And guys, I shall catch you in the next video. Bye everyone.